Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about CS Cart Extended Catalog Mode. As we all know, there is a default add-on catalog mode in CS Cart, which converts the store operation mode to catalog mode. But with Extended Catalog Mode, an admin can enable the catalog mode for desired categories only, and for the rest of the categories, the store operates in the default mode of operation. For the online demonstration regarding the product, you can go to our Webcool store and click on this demo button. And for the documentation regarding the same, please go through the user guide manual provided at the store. Let us now proceed towards the installation part of this add-on and see how you can convert your desired category to catalog mode categories. This is my admin panel. Go to add-ons tab and click on manage add-ons. Now click on this plus button to upload and install a new add-on. Click on local and browse the zip file for extended catalog mode add-on and click on upload and install. Once the add-on is installed successfully, you need to configure the settings of this add-on. Let us search this add-on. This is my extended catalog mode. To configure and manage the settings, go to this settings drop down and click on settings. Here you can view various settings options have been provided. If you want to operate your store in catalog mode, you can select by choosing this radio button of catalog. And if you want to operate your store in the default mode, you need to choose the store. Let us choose the catalog for catalog mode of operation. The next option is to allow purchasing. If you want to allow the purchasing of product in catalog mode, whenever there is no buy now URL entered at backend, then you can enable it from here. As you all know that these two functions are as similar as in the default catalog mode add-on. The next option is to notify to admin. Let me tell you one functionality of this add-on that there is a functionality to enter the number of active days for catalog mode add-on. That is, you can enter the number of days after which the product will get disabled automatically. And if you want to notify to admin or vendor in case of multi-vendor or to custom email IDs, then you need to enter or enable it from here just to notify to the admin vendor or to the custom mail IDs that the product status has been changed. And you can also set the notification email template. For that, go to this mail templating tab. A user guide manual has been provided for setting the mail template. And a separate mailbox has been provided to notify to admin and to notify to custom emails. In case of multi-vendor, you will be able to view notify to vendor email mail text also. Once it is done, you need to click on this save button. Let us now see how you can enable the catalog mode for particular categories. For that, go to products tab and click on categories. Now click on the desired category for which you want to enable the catalog mode. Let us select it from here. Let us choose the apparel to be the category for which we want to enable the catalog mode. Now go to this add-ons tab. Here you can view extended catalog mode options have been provided. If you want to enable catalog mode for this category, then you need to enable it from here. Next, you can disable buy now URL at backend product edit page. If you do not want to show the option to your customer to purchase this from your store, then you can disable the buy now URL. And if you disable it, then customer will not be able to view the buy now button from your store. If you want to apply to the all subcategories for this, you can enable it from here. This means that for all the subcategories, catalog mode will get enabled. The next option is to enter the product active days. Here you need to enter the number of days for which the products in catalog mode remains active. After these days, this product 
will get automatically disabled and if you enter zero over here then this means that the product will remain active always this will not get disabled anyhow once it is done you need to click on the settings to save the add-on settings here you can click on this save button now to enter the buy now url for particular product you need to go to the product edit page at backend for that click on this products tab select the product for which you want to enable the catalog mode click on the add-on tab here you can view that under extended catalog mode there is an option to enter buy now url let us enter the url over here let us copy this url and enter it over here and click on save button to save this product editing let us now preview this product at the front end and you will be able to view that this particular product at front end is in catalog mode and all the products of this category will be in catalog mode and the rest will be in default mode here you can view that a buy now button has been provided for catalog mode once you click on this buy now button it will redirect you to the external url which have been entered this is how you can get redirected to the buy now url let us get back to the front end and see for the other products whether the catalog mode has been activated or not let us go to the desktops click on any of the desktop to view the mode of this product here you can view there is add to cart button and if you click on this add to cart button this will get added to your cart on your store only this is how you can operate your store in the two modes that is catalog mode as well as in the default operation this is how my extended catalog mode add-on works thank you so much for watching